Hello and welcome to another SBC chat. Uh, this is the last one of 2020 and I've got a special guest um, this time. Um, but he's not here. So just, oh, he's just come. Let me just uh, welcome him into the Zoom. Hello. Um, hi. Hello. You're on mute. Santa, Sam, you're on, you've got to unmute yourself. Down there. That book. What's up, better? Oh, hello. Hello, um, there, Martin. Great to yes. have you here, Santa. It's, uh, it's um, lovely to see you. Would you like to just, um, if, if you need to really do this, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, so my name is uh, Santa Claus. Um, some of you may recognize me. I tend to be around quite a lot this time of year. Um, yes, I, um, I, I, I do various things, um, make toys, deliver toys, clean toys, put toys in boxes, wrap toys. Um, it's a very varied job. I do enjoy it. I suppose my first question is, what's been uh, lockdown like in the North Pole? Um, lockdown as, um, yes, it's, it's been interesting as, as you may be aware, um, we are quite housebound anyway, because of the, the environment and coldness and, and polar bears and things like that. But, um, there, there has been one challenge. Um, I don't know whether you know this, but elves love to sing. You see, they love, they love singing and, um, Pretty much from waking up to going to sleep, they they just constantly sing, um, which which is possibly one of the reasons that me and uh, Mrs. Claus like to leave the house quite a lot. Um, but yes, so we we've had to tolerate quite a lot of singing from the elves. Um, you were sort of classed as connected to our church, uh, which is really exciting. Would you like to explain how how that connection exists? Oh, how am I connected to Selston Baptist Church? Um, well, I, I suppose um, for lockdown, I, I used to attend a hot yoga session uh, just to help keep those pounds down, you know. Um, uh, and yes, there was a, a member of your congregation who... Uh, who used to also attend this hot yoga, uh, uh, Brian Sharp. Um, do you know him? Yes, he's a, he's a marvellous chap and uh, um, explained lots of what uh, your church does um, about loving each other and their, their community. And I feel very much connected, um, even more so now your services are online, which are, are marvellous. Now, I've heard that you used to wear green, like a whole green outfit, Santa, and then at some point you changed to red. I don't know whether you want to share how that decision came around. Um, I'd be really interested to know. Oh, yes, I, um, I, I, I did used to wear, wear green, um, but, but you see, as a uh, as, as very dutiful um, husband, um, I... Uh, Mrs. Claus chose this new red, um, you see, and I, I feel it, it looks very nice, and um, I, I basically wear what I've been told. Um, but yes, yes, uh, that's, that's the reason. Um, just bear with me one second. Ah, it is refreshing. Mm. I, I suppose a really important question to ask you, Santa, is who is Jesus to you? Why is he so important? Um, well, uh, to be totally honest with you, Jesus is, is the main reason that I'm, uh, I, I do this. Uh, he's, he's such a wonderful person. I mean, if, if ever we wanted to know what, what true love looked like, we need not look any further than Jesus, really. Um, yes, he's, he's a wonderful chap. Um, and he just demonstrates God's, 
love and, and grace for us all. Why, why do you give out gifts at Christmas, Santa? Why do you like to go and deliver to everybody's house? Oh, well, I, I mean, that's, that's linked back to the, the question before, really. Um, once I understood um, who Jesus was um, and the gift that he gave to us, um, I just couldn't help but give gifts. Uh, and originally, um, I, I just gave gifts to the those in my small community. Uh, and from there, with help of with the help of Mrs. Claus and um, and the elves, we we've moved into a global or- organization um, that seeks to give people gifts to demonstrate and replicate the the gift that we get through Jesus you see that's the reason that I do this that's I mean my name is Saint Nicholas I, I to many I am considered a saint which links me to the church for for many many years as a church at SBC we like to pray for one another do you have any prayer requests for your for yourself your family your elves um, or the wider community. Oh, that's that's a, that's a wonderful question. Uh, as you possibly know, um, this time of year is incredibly busy. Um, there's there's lots to be done, and and also um, Boris, one of our elves, seems to have lost a list. Um, so if you could pray into that, because we need the list. Uh, to be honest, but I, I suppose pray around the busyness and um, and more importantly, um, if you could pray for everybody. Uh, this this Christmas is going to be slightly different. Um, we won't be able to gather as much as we want to in the church or or in our homes. But I, I just pray that they they recognise the the sacrifice that God made for us. Uh, that Jesus came down to earth uh, and they fully grasp the full meaning of Christmas. Away from me and my red suit and big bushy beard, I just pray that they can be filled with the spirit of, of joy, of hope, of peace, and that they can have a wonderful Christmas celebrating all that's good in this time. Santa, it's been absolutely fantastic talking with you. And thank you so much for giving up your time. Um, I'm going to let you go. Um, As I said, this is the last SBC chat of 2020. Um, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic Christmas. See you soon. Bye, Santa. Bye, all. Bye. No, no, it's it's been fabulous talking to you, Martin. I'll end it. Um, Yes, I I do have to go and find this list now. Um, Bye. Yes, God bless. Bye. 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 Okay, I I really need to go now. Bye. Okay. Bye. There's such a difference in